Good evening folks, you're here with the real great Aussie Patriot and what a day it's been for us here at TRGAP and I suppose in one sense the bigots. Now the High Court has handed down their final decision on the Bendigo Mosque and they have decided to allow the mosque to go ahead and be built. Now the UPF and the people who are against the mosque in Bendigo have exhausted all legal avenues in regards to this matter. So the Bendigo Mosque will go ahead, which is great news for the Islamic community, uh, not only in Bendigo, but in Australia. But it is also fantastic news for a more tolerant, a more diverse, and a more accepting Australian society. So, to the High Court's decision on the Bendigo Mosque, well done. The right thing was done. And to all the bigots, go and suck a wet fart. Um, United Patriots front in Toowoomba, old vinegar tits up there. Suck it. Uh, Dennis Hutz over in uh, Perth there, Mr. Chicken Twisty Dick. Suck it. Uh, United Patriots front Tasmania, uh, Fanny Smell down there. Suck it. Um, good stuff, good stuff all round. Uh, a few shit sandwiches to hand out. First one goes up to the young 18 year old lad from Sydney, uh, Toby Cook who's travelled down to Melbourne on a number of occasions to participate in uh, anti-Islam rallies. Now, the last one, he's um, actually posted some evidence for local law enforcement next time he does come down because he's posted a picture of himself with his flag and instead of a flagpole, he's attached his flag to a four-foot hardened Chinese oak kendo stick, which is a martial arts weapon. Now, to take a weapon to a rally is against the law. I'm pretty much 99% sure. So local law enforcement, get onto that and keep an eye on this Toby Cook fella because he is a violent thug and he is an absolute dead shit. So Toby Cook, have a shit sandwich, fuck you. Uh, next on the list is Angry Anderson for blocking my comments within five minutes of making them on your page and not answering the questions that are asked of you. Uh, you're a politician, you should be answering the people's questions. Uh, we want to know what your policies are and we want to know if you stand for anything other than being an anti-Islamic racist fuckwit. So Angry Anderson, Gary, Angry Anderson, eat yourself a shit sandwich, you racist fuck. Next, we have Dave Gleason from the Screaming Jets, who it has been brought to my attention, has gone on a lengthy anti-Islam uh, rant at one of his shows in Adelaide recently. It's the only show I'm aware of him going on this uh, tirade against people practicing their religion peacefully in Australia. But Dave Gleason and the Screaming Jets, you deserve a shit sandwich. Uh, either come out and apologise or keep carrying on the way you are and I'll keep delivering shit sandwiches. Uh, next on the list is two, TBC, uh, True Blue Crew. Looks like your uh, flag rally you were planning for Parliament House is uh, not being given the go-ahead by local law enforcement and you will be breaking the law if you hold your rally. So enjoy getting arrested on Sunday the 26th. And apart from that, um, oh yeah, have a shit sandwich you guys, you deserve it. And the UPF, United Patriots Failures. You failed to stop the mosque in Bendigo, you failed to launch a political party, uh, you failed to stop me taking the absolute piss out of you. So why don't you just go and crawl under your rocks and fuck off for good now because you're done. You've exhausted all avenues of anything you could possibly achieve, uh, you're all fucked. And of course, Ralph Sermonara up in Sydney, go and eat a shit sandwich, mate. Good night, everybody. The Bendigo Mosque, woo! Let's work on the Kuma one now. The Kuma Mosque, let's get it done.